My classroom's a mess. I'm gonna put it bluntly, my classroom's a disaster. Anyway, now that I've made an idiot out of myself. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tina. I'm a T. I'm not the teacup teacher anymore. Uh, I have adventures in elementary now. I am going into my classroom classroom setup today. But first, I have to stop at my doctor's office because I had no surgery last week. So I'm hopefully getting these like stents that are shoved up there. I'm hopefully getting them chopped out today. But we're gonna go to the doctor's office. Um, and I will talk with you guys after. All right, you guys, I survived. Still pretty swollen, but whatever. My nose is so sore. It hurts to talk, but we're gonna power through this because I get to go to my classroom. Already getting so much more air than ever before, even with swelling. Let me just tell you, it's weird. It actually almost feels a little bit nauseating and I don't know how like like how else to explain it except that I'm not used to getting this much air through my nose. This is glorious. This is so nice. I feel so like, I'm gonna get emotional. I have not been able to breathe out of my nose for years, years. And I know it's ridiculous to cry over being able to breathe, but this is so nice. I have not experienced this since as long as I can remember. I cannot believe that this is what it's supposed to be like. Like I knew this is what it's supposed to be like, but I couldn't imagine what it felt like. So I am just, I'm over the moon right now. I know it is ridiculous to get emotional over being able to breathe out of your freaking nose. But if you guys know what I've dealt with for years, you would understand. So anyway, now that I've made an idiot out of myself, <laughs> we're gonna go get coffee and we're gonna go to our classroom and be happy little people because I get to go to my room today and I've missed it. So. Let's go. I underestimated how much of a mess I left. I know when I came in the week before or week of surgery, I intended to like clean and get everything tidied. However, when I came in that Monday, uh, they told me that they were starting the floor. So it kind of like threw a, a wrench in my plans. And then when I was here working, they started doing the floors. So I literally just had to pack up my stuff and go. So because of that, um, the classroom's a mess. I'm gonna put it bluntly, my classroom's a disaster, but that's okay. Good times. Okay, so we're just gonna skip, as I just threw water everywhere. Oh, where's my coaster? We're just gonna skip the physical to-do list because I just don't have it in me. And that's, that's what's gonna happen. So I need, to, I need to pick up, this mess is driving me nuts, which is, my classroom's a mess. I'm gonna show it to you because it's so bad, but I need to find my coaster because my coffee cup is leaking everywhere and it's driving me bananas. Yeah, so to-do list, just straighten up. Straighten up. Like there's stuff on the floor that I, I don't even know what I was thinking. Like I think most of it's trash. They did get rid of my trash that I put out in the hallway when I was here last week, which I'm super excited about. you don't know but I came into my current position in April of last school year so I had a few days over spring break to set up super quick backstory fast forward to today still going through everything that was left in the room which was so much but I just realized today that I'd never opened this cabinet because I didn't know that all of those great body shop things were in here so we just cleaned that out and now I have extra storage and it makes me question I know most of the cabinets along this side, I know like that one has a lot of my STEM stuff. This one has like supplies, notebooks, paper products. I think this one has microscopes, I think. Um, but I am still going through things. And I think that's why setup has taken me longer than it should. It's not because it's just my stuff. Like I'm still cleaning out stuff from the teacher before me. So that's been the less glamorous side of setup, but I just keep telling myself like if I can just keep picking away at this it's all gonna be it's all gonna be good I'm gonna know what is where and all of that stuff so 
yeah, that's a wrap. All right, we're gonna get back to it. You guys know that I love my soft lighting in my classroom. My overhead lights, these guys are pretty much never on. I always have like lamps and string lights such as those on because it does get a little bit dark, especially on cloudier days like today. But I will show you where I had lights last year and I just put one in and let me show you what it looks like and how I turn all of my lights on. This is linked in my Amazon storefront as well as in the description box of every video because I get so many questions. It was the best thing I've ever bought. My students did notice and I noticed as well that it gets pretty dark uh, over along this wall and my students do tend to work over here. So I put it on top of our iPad cart and the only issue with my classroom is there's not a ton of outlets. Uh, so there's one here and then the next one is not until behind this shelf. So it's right about where that green grass is and then down. So I don't have a ton of outlet space in here, but I did put a lamp over here and it already has completely changed how bright it is. So I use these wireless remotes, but focus. These remotes allow you to plug something in and then turn it on with the push of a button. So like the transmitter that that's connected to in the outlet is number three. So when I push number three, it will turn it on. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work because it is going through a metal cart. The transmitter is in the very back of that black metal cart, but it still works. So I use these for all of my like mood lighting. Like it already brightens up that corner so much more because I plug a light in by that outlet and then there was nothing, 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 nothing until a light right about here. So already way happier with that. the milk crates I have 15 in each so definitely gonna need another set and that's with them um, like alternating which way they're facing and I don't have a class larger than 15 so not worried about it I'm gonna go back and double check and see what my largest class size is because if they're not why is this not focused there we go because if they're super small like if I only have seven or eight I can squeeze them in uh, but right now there is like enough wiggle room where if they don't clean them out often and they're overflowing like there's still plenty of room uh, so i got three classes done i have two binders left after 15 in each and i have one box remaining so i've got this guy left when i'm in new jersey this week i'm going to see if they have some of that green color uh because well if not we're gonna have to get some other colors but i'm gonna see if i can get two more of the green and one more pink and then that way it's three and three so like block one all of my point ones might be pink and all my point twos might be green i don't know how i'm gonna figure it out yet but kind of what i'm thinking uh so now i need to figure out where i'm going to put my affirmation station mirror so crooked <laughs> oh crap I'm usually really good with that stuff but I was like trying not to rip off any more dots because I already lost this one but it's not a big deal I can hot glue it back on but it's crooked <laughs> whoopsie it's staying that way don't care enough to fix it. I don't know if you guys can even tell just enough to drive me nuts maybe another day I will fix it but for today that is how it is staying so <laughs> crooked affirmation station is dead. Typical Tina fashion. Half ass at all. It is currently 
1.30. I'm gonna try to give myself another hour or so and then I'm gonna get out of here because I still have a video to edit. Ooh, you're really low. Um, I still have a video to edit and get up for tomorrow. I have not even uploaded the footage to my computer or my hard drive yet, uh, so I'm really behind. And I also have to pack because we are leaving tomorrow night to go to Jersey and I just got invited to a birthday dinner for a former student, um, student's mom who's also like a friend now. And yeah, it's just my, my plate keeps getting piled higher. It's like I'm at a buffet and they're like, here, try this, try this, but that's all right. currently 145. I didn't plan on leaving quite yet. However, I'm calling it quits because there's really not much that I can do until I can get those shelves up. Um, just because there's so much stuff in those boxes and until those boxes move, I don't want to put them on the floor until those boxes come down. Like I can't really shift everything down. So I am going to come back tomorrow and knock some more stuff out. I was here for a couple of hours today, so I'm like totally cool with it. Other than that, that is a wrap for today's classroom setup. We're gonna go home and get some stuff done. So I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, 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 it's Thursday. And we are just leaving the house because uh, I'm gonna go to work for a little bit. I cannot stay late like at all today because it turns out that we are able to leave for Jersey today. I have a lot that I need to do. I need to clean out my car uh, before we go for multiple reasons. One, I have like my wagon in the back and it just doesn't all fit. I need to fit our luggage. I say luggage, we're taking a bag. I need to be able to fit that. And the dogs are obviously going with us. They go with us everywhere. And also, potentially getting rid of my car. Uh, small chance, but there is a chance. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. That way once I get to school, I can hit the ground running. So let's go ahead and get another day of classroom setup started. All right, you guys, so I'm at work. Um, I've been here for over two hours and done literally nothing. Uh, I started talking to my coworker like literally as soon as I sat down to vlog for you guys and we have talked since. So I really kind of cut my time down for working in the classroom because spent time talking but we needed that so this is my desk these two boxes are going away that is stuff don't even know what's in it can't remember what's in that tote using that to hold my camera this all needs to get put away this is all stuff that I need this is all stuff that needs to find a home but most of it is waiting to go over here or over here this is cleaned off like this area for the most part um that needs to get done still have to do the shelves this is a box of binders i showed you guys yesterday that i was putting them in the milk crates these are some are they unifix cubes i don't remember but they're like the math manipulatives but i let my kids use them for stem which i have in here so this is our stem cabinet and i do want to move this or label it i want to do something a little bit different there's just so many little things that like i don't know where to start because something is waiting on something else. We're gonna find something to do. I'm gonna get to work. I know this wasn't like the longest vlog. I'm going to end this vlog off here. 
if you like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Be sure to subscribe if you started school already. I hope your year is going amazing. And if you are still on summer break, I hope you are soaking up every last second and you are making the best of it. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos, especially classroom setup. And I will catch you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you.